Ja, välkomna till Inters mont igen. Vi sitter här med Danny Cristofano som är brand manager på Intel och det går i ultrabooks tecken här hos Intel och Danny tänkte visa oss lite vad, vad nästa generations ultrabooksprodukter kan se ut som. Så so, Danny, please, if you'd like. Sure. So, well, welcome to Intel. Thanks for coming. This is the uh, the Asus Ultrabook powered by Intel's second generation core processor technology. Uh, this is uh, an example of the first generation, if you will, of the new Ultrabook category, which we expect to evolve very quickly. Uh, we expect to see this category start here and then uh, over the course of even this year, evolve with our third generation core processor technology in the spring and then ultimately later in the year with the release of Microsoft's Windows 8 operating system and the incorporation of a touch user inter interface, we expect to see these designs, which are traditional laptop designs, you can see they're very very thin, very sleek, very aesthetically pleasing, but we expect to see these designs offer truly no compromise computing to consumers as they become what we call Ultrabook hybrids, if you will. So you can imagine uh, a screen might swivel and lay down, or might have a flipping mechanism and lay down, or show you an example of a prototype. This is working with one of our uh, ODM partners, Compal, prototype of an Ultrabook device that would actually detach. And when it detaches, it becomes a fully functional tablet. So each of the pieces uh, of this particular Ultrabook have their own uh, hard drive. So this this uh, the tablet piece has a solid state drive. Yeah. The base has a mechanical drive. Uh, they each also have their own uh, batteries as well. So detach the tablet uh, can can last uh, with active use roughly three-ish hours. And again this is a prototype. We expect the battery life to obviously get better. Uh, and then uh, when it's when it's attached uh, into the base the full system would have pr probably uh, eight to nine uh, uh, hours of battery life. So uh, really, uh, again, no compromise, beautiful design. Uh, this particular prototype is powered by the, the current, current generation, the second generation of the Intel Core processor. This is a Core i5 uh, powered uh, tablet. And you can still see it's a very thin form factor. This yeah, is, it is not much, uh, not much uh, thicker, if at all, than, than current tablets. Exactly. And we have the CPU and everything inside this uh, part of the This system. is correct, this exactly. is correct. <laughs> And uh, this was a 13.3 inch screen? That's or? right. Yeah. Right. And so another interesting feature of this particular Ultrabook uh, prototype is a feature we call Intel wireless charging. So uh, you, you can imagine, uh, let me, I can actually grab my phone. And uh, if I put my phone uh, in this, uh, this area here, you'll, you can kind of see, if you, if you uh, zoom to the bezel here, you can see the area. Uh, where the where the charging uh, proximity area is, so uh, RF 13.26 megahertz uh, proximity charging system. So setting my phone here now. This is uh, theoretical. This particular phone is not equipped with the yeah. technology, but it's wireless charging. So if I'm in a meeting, set my phone down and get a charge while I'm in a meeting. It's drawing drawing power from the Ultrabook, and it can be charged when the Ultrabook is on both battery and uh, connected electrical power. Nice. So how, how would you like to say, where is this positioned in the market? Uh, any specific users uh, that uh, you think would be interested in this kind of uh, hybrid uh, uh, tablet or laptop, what you would call it? Right. When we are uh, really thinking about Ultrabook as the category and what does Ultra really mean, it, it really means no compromises. And if you can have the best of touch and the best of PC, in one device that truly is no compromise. Yeah. And so, you know, I think the target is, it run, runs a range, but I've talked to plenty of people here at CES who are walking around with laptops or Ultrabooks in their bag and iPads or a tablet, yeah. right? And so the, the, the need to carry two devices in this case be, becomes obsolete because you have one device that can function in both scenarios. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Stefano.